Banos because we really wanted to see more of just the beauty and the nature that Ecuador was known for. And it was on our way to the south where we were going to catch a flight. The road here is completely covered in fog. In some moments, we can't see more than probably 10 feet ahead of us. Hopefully our driver is as good as we think he is. we asked a few locals, what should we do here? And the one thing that like everybody without fail told us to do was the Ruta de las Cascadas, which is the waterfall route. We've got a super late start on the morning because we've been doing work and computer stuff and we barely slept last yep. night. I was up till five. <laughs> the joy of doing work on the road with bad internet, but we have pulled ourselves together. The work is mostly done. And so now we're gonna go see some waterfalls. Yeah. Okay, let's get a taxi. We just got dropped off at the bus station or the bus stop where we're supposed to catch the bus to go to the waterfalls. What we didn't know is that it doesn't leave for another hour and a half. So we're kind of standing here in the rain with nothing to do. So I think we're going to try to find a taxi driver and convince him in bad Spanish to take us and do the route that the bus does. We'll see how that goes. No, they all want us. You love dancing in the rain. You never mind a cloudy day. Make the world a better place. Yeah, you love dancing in the rain. You love talking on the phone. Do things other people do. Oh, I get up, get up, get up. Make sure no one feels alone. You're soaking. You love talking on the phone. The waterfall started off really cool. I liked it because it was this progression of like smaller waterfalls, but still really beautiful. And then they got like better and better as the route went on. But I think the first one that we all really loved, it was this waterfall where there was kind of a river and a bit of like a, I don't know, like a, it was a bit of a gorge. Like you, you could, you couldn't get, you couldn't walk across it. There were no bridges or anything, but there was this gondola Gondola's a little bit generous, I uh -huh. feel like, but it looked safe enough and um, people were going back and forth in it, having a great time. And so we decided that's how we should see the waterfall. Yeah. You, it's not taking up your right. You, you all have to hold on. Okay. I'm holding on Oliver's hand. You all have to hold on and you cannot, Kathleen, hold on with two hands and you do not lean over the edge at all. The thing I love the most about the gondola ride is they actually stop right near the waterfall and just like let you take it in for a few minutes. And uh, I just love waterfalls. There's the extra ozone that they create, just like the mist in the air. Uh, and also they're just really beautiful. And the river just continues down there. It was fun. And I don't usually like things like this, 
I don't love heights. I'm not into, I don't know, things that pick me up really high, but I actually kind of had a blast. We liked it so much, we went twice. it was gonna sort of be in the same league as some of the other ones, maybe a teeny bit bigger. You begin and you're seeing this, like this river, and then you see this really cool rush of water start going down the hill. And honestly, I kind of thought that was it at the beginning. Yeah. Did you think so too? Totally. And I was like, oh, that's cool, because it is like a really big rush of water and you can see it like going down, being sucked down into the rocks below. But the trail kept going, so we kept walking. And then we got down a little ways and suddenly we were like, oh, whoa, <laughs> like, this thing is gigantic. We had no idea at all. Check it out. Oh, wow. Holy cow. This is amazing. with them but basically they're just they're kids and they saw water and so they wanted to get in and so every chance every time there was like a trickle of water from this like little mini waterfall or when we were up at this big yeah, final yeah. one that had tons of spray they just wanted to get as wet as they possibly could <laughs> other than that there were a lot of really cool things to see in Banyos I personally didn't get out much more except for some dinners and walks because I had to work, and that's just how life goes sometimes. The kids and I got to go to Casa del Arbo. Arbol. Arbol, which uh, means like treehouse, but, but in English they call it swing at the end of the world. And it's just a really, really massive swing. You can fit three people in and use, I don't know how long of a high of a drop it is, but I would say maybe a hundred feet. So guys, are we actually considering doing this? Yeah, Look at this. I'm doing it. I've committed. I'm committed. This is, this is a massive, massive swing. I haven't seen a swing this big ever. Who's gonna go first? Who's first? Me, 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 me. Okay. So Johanna and Kepler and me. We're gonna go up first. Sound good? Yes. Just this one. Hey. You ready for this? I'm not really Good. This is what we're getting into. Oliver really, really wanted to go on this swing, and I convinced him not to. And uh, he, well, I think the other kids convinced him where he saw us or something. Anyways, he really wants to go in there. So we talked to the people, and they said, "Yeah, 
we've got harnesses for him. Gets his age goal all the time. He's with Abigail and Caden. Um, so I'm not nervous about, about anything, but I, I we'll see how, how well he handles it. Oliver's gonna be scary. Are you okay with that? <laughs> this is I gonna be awesome. awesome. Oh. You won't. Uh, my hands feel scared. I don't think I can do this. Okay. Oh, I feel safer. <laughs> Guys? Yeah, Guys? Side date. Was that awesome? Yeah. Side date. Did you, what did you think, Oliver? Was that really cool? Yeah, and I did not fall. You did not fall. And you didn't cry either. Did you cry? I don't he know. Didn't no. cry. Not at all. He was we smiling asked, the whole time. He was smiling and being really loud and like he was the bravest of us all, I think. I think you're braver than me. <laughs> Dad actually said he thinks I'm brave, but at him too. Yeah, I know. Because he was super scared, but he's like, I'm not going to show it. And then he got up on the uh, swing, and you were pretty scared, but you still did it up and down, and you still enjoyed it.